Hi guys, for this video it's going to be a DIY project that literally anyone can do. All you need is a clear phone case. This is an iPod case. If y'all didn't know, I record on a, I want to say it's a fifth generation iPod. So super old, but it gets the job done. Anyway, um, a clear case. You can get one of these on eBay or Amazon or um, you just look online. You should be able to find them. And you're going to need a piece of paper, any kind of paper that you want to use, construction paper, lime paper, um, anything that you want to use. When I said lime paper, I meant like notebook paper, sorry. Or um, just like printing paper, anything should work for this. Another thing that you're going to need is some scissors, uh, a pen or pencil or crayon, anything that will write, draw, color, whatever. And then also, if you want to add stuff to your phone case that you're going to be making, or iPod case, or whatever you got, you might want to get some like crayons, or coloring pencils, markers, ink pens, whatever you want to use, yeah, to color it. You can also use stickers, pictures, anything. So it's kind of like making a collage, essentially, is what we're going to be making, except for we're going to put it on a phone case like I said so what you do is you take your piece of paper that you have and you trace the outline of your case so um, you know to get the size of it obviously you want the um, correct size and if it's got like a little cut out you want to cut that out that's why you have the scissors so I'm going to show you some of the cases that I made, and then I am going to um, just kind of talk about them and tell you guys a little bit. Oh yeah, another thing that you might need is some like clear tape, like the kind whenever you're taping up like a box or something like that, just clear tape. Uh, or if you have a like laminating machine, that will work for this as well. I'll explain why you need all this in a moment so like I said trace the outline of the clear case that you have and then you're going to cut that out now for me you can see how it looks first of all this thing's kinda broke and I need a new one but that's beside the point um, and when I trace it it essentially is going to look like this this is a Powerpuff Girls case that I made I used a piece of paper I colored it with some pencils so it's pink blue and green and I had some stickers and just added those all right so once you cut it out and decorate it however you want you're going to place it into the case that you have so mine just kind of goes in there like this and this is how my phone case excuse me my iPod case looks when I have it on the back of it so the cool thing about this little DIY thing is this should save you a lot of cash on phone cases because I know phone cases can be a bit expensive so if you're like me and you're indecisive or you want like multiple things for your case this is like the perfect thing to do um, I also did this little Lisa Frank thing and this was some wrap from a gift that someone had uh, gave to my mom so I took it and kind of made it into a little phone case this one is not laminated yet the reason that I mentioned uh, lamination or um, getting like clear tape is you will get water damage because this is you know paper and if you get paper wet it will obviously cause water damage so I'm going to show you an example using sorry that mic keeps like hitting my face or whatever but anyway I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about on another case which is this one and I basically made this one using markers and stickers again it's a uh, Lisa Frank another one and you can see like it's laminated um, 
So the reason you want to do that is this will happen if you don't. Water damage will happen. It will make it look weird. Uh, mess the color of it up and everything. So I decided to laminate it to keep it from getting messed up. I will do that with this one eventually, but uh, yeah. So moving away from that, the reason that you, if you don't have like a lamination machine and you want to use clear tape, you can do that. I did that with this one, which is a uh, loop on the third case that I made. And I just basically took the tape and just taped around it to keep any like water or anything from messing up the case. This is like a picture that I cut out of a magazine that I had and I just like taped it on there. Cause if y'all don't know, I love Loop on the Third. I recommend this anime if you've not watched it. It's a really good one. You can pick it up on any season and it's pretty easy to understand. So moving away from that, uh, I'm gonna show another one that I taped. This one which is just black with this little um, character. I'm sorry, don't come for me. I don't, I've not seen this anime yet. So it's like a little meme and it says that moment when your favorite anime ends. I got this when I went to a um, like anime day that they were having at my local library, which if y'all wanna hear about that or see like what I got from that, let me know and I'll talk about it a little bit as like a story time. Anyway, um, this one's laminated, Star Wars, um, this is stickers and some black marker and it's got all my favorite characters, Yoda, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, it's got uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo. My two favorite characters from Star Wars are, for anyone that actually cares, Yoda and Han Solo. But I wanted to like fill it up to make it look a little bit, you know, cooler. That's the back. That doesn't really matter because no one's going to see it. But, you know. Um, I used this one for a while, actually. Yeah. And then the next one I have is a, and if y'all don't know this, because I did a video on it, if you don't know, I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. And so I made a case for it. Um, this is actually not necessarily my favorite JoJo character, but I love like um, his whole, I guess like aesthetic and stuff. Like I love his hair and like the heart and little peace sign thingy. Um, my favorite JoJo character is Joseph. Young, old, all of them. I love him. I don't know why. Um, I guess because he's like funny or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I just took some stickers and just stuck it on there and uh, took a highlighter and made a little background. This one's got a little bit of water damage on it as well. Remember to laminate these things when you make them, people, or you will, they, they will get damaged and it will look like that and it will look really weird. So this is also pictures from a magazine that I cut out as well. Because sometimes it can be hard to find uh, like the color case that you want with a uh, anime character on it. So I make my own. Save me some cash, and hopefully save you that's watching some cash as well. So I have one more case to show you, and it's this one. Now I have problems uh, with putting this one on the back of this case because it's cracked and it would like make the split on it worse so I've not used this one yet it's also not been laminated for the reason that I'm kind of afraid these stickers might mess up the, the uh, lamination thing that we have so it's like and this is going to show up really weird hold on let me see if I can't get the color okay so it's orange and it's uh, Dragon Ball Z, and I have these little, I'm going to call them similar, like how you have those puffy stickers or whatever you want to call them, uh, like forever ago, where it it's it's like almost textured type of thing going on. And um, so I got Krillin, Gohan, I got Master Roshi, 
Goku, uh, Vegeta, I got Bulma, uh, Boo, um, let's see here, I also have Trunks, Supreme Kai, and then, um, Dende, I love Dende, it's kind of hard to see, man, come on, alright, I love these little chibi versions of everybody too, like this Bulma right here, adorable. So, that's pretty much all you have to do is, um, I'm just going to kind of run through it one more time and just let y'all know what you do. So, you're going to get your thing that you are going to be writing with, which I'm just using this pen as an example. And then you trace the clear case that you have for whatever phone or device that you have. And then you take your scissors, cut it out, and then you take and make sure that you laminate or tape the uh, piece of paper that you made and then after you've done that you just place it in your case however you put it in there and then there you go this saves you so much money because you don't have to spend money on getting different cases if I like right off the bat I made doing this method I made one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases for my iPod. And I can replace these anytime that I want. So if I get bored with one, I can just put another one in. Given that it doesn't like mess the case up, I think for now until I can get another um, clear case for this iPod, I'm going to keep it this Powerpuff Girls case because it works perfect anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you do try this, like, hit me up on social media, Instagram, Twitter, um, anything like that, and show me the case that you made. I'm kind of interested in seeing, like, what people do with this information, like this um projects that I suggest or whatever so hit me up on either one of those send me pictures of what you made I want to see it I want to know cool um, if you want to check out any of my other social medias they're down there in the description feel free to click away um, I appreciate you for watching I'm going to try to start posting again hopefully on Saturdays, that's going to be my day, Saturdays, it's always been my day, so, cool, uh, if you enjoyed this, or you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, because, like I said, I'm going to start regularly posting again, I don't know when, but I'm working on it, guys, I'm working on it, and I'm going to make a big comeback, and all that good stuff, and it'll be just like it was, so, um, appreciate you. I'm going to go now and I'll see y'all later. Bye.